Greetings and salutations. This is Wolf Horror Tech of uh, Wolf Horror Tech Entertainment. And uh, here's another little fun thing. Uh, I'm going to start. Got a new video series starting up here. And uh, let's. Uh, Let's a let's a go. Uh, but anyways, uh, adjust my camera. <coughs> yes, Mr. Beans. No, you cannot have my pot pie, Mr. Beans. But anyways, uh, no beans. You cannot have my pot pie. Seriously, cat. <coughs> but anyways. <laughs> But seriously, uh, let's go ahead and uh, play the new game, uh, well, the old game. I can also go ahead and do, uh, no, Mr. Beans, you cannot have a pot pie. But anyways, uh, I think the volume is a little high. I had to talk over it. <coughs> but anyways... Let's go ahead and start playing Legend, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Now part of me questions whether that The Awakening is just simply more than just the ending to this video of the game. Or it could be something greater as in Link ha this Link has a great awakening or epiphany of the world world after this. Incidentally, this link is the same link supposedly from the Legend of Zelda Link to the Past and the same link as the one from uh, Legend of Zelda Force uh, no, uh, Oracle of Seasons and the Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. And this link was actually voted to be one of the most powerful links, links by various, various sites. <clears throat> I do kind of agree. This uh, Link has a lot of experience. Being, uh... I'm just going to go with normal. I'm going to go with Link. No. I'm kind of... I don't really dig the limited uh, letter option. Love more letters. <coughs> but anyways, uh, I'm going to kind of slot this in into my rotation here. I played the original and I also played uh, the Game Boy Color remake. But I have yet to play this one yet. Well, it looks like there's some interesting stuff here on the in the room. Oh yeah, there this is a uh, work uh it's called uh uh spoilers. But of course, uh at some point I'm also considering to just going ahead and playing through the Game Boy Color version as well as uh Yeah, it definitely sounds like Mario. But anyways, uh You know, the funny thing is, he got you your shield, but, yeah, I'm just flipping through this, this, yeah. Oh, that looks heavier than heavy. Heavier than heavy. Your current strength won't cut it. Uh... This is a stand for something. It says Piranha Plant. Oh. This is stand for something. It says Goomba. Okay, I guess uh, I had to earn those items for this time. There's some new stuff they added to this game. I also got the Amiibo. But I have yet to take them out of the package. If I would attach a, a, uh, a, a number of views to this uh, the the angle you notice how the camera shifts 
kind of tips up and down. There's something similar that like that occurs in Animal Crossing games, except for that. That does not happen in Animal Crossing games. Hell, I would love it if that happened in Animal Crossing games because so many times you're looking for that one fossil in Animal Crossing and you know it's behind a tree or a building. So, uh, go say hi old Grandma Yahoo. Yahoo, I'm fine, and you? Well, that's funny. <clears throat> but anyways, uh, is this Grandpa Yahoo? Old Man Aura? Oh, wait a minute. Let's... There's a little stand in here. This is a stand for something that says Cheap Cheap. So I'm going to have to collect a bunch of Nintendo themed, themed uh, blooper. Yeah, I'm going to have to collect some... Uh... Bring, 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 click. Yes, it's a bucket mouse. Thanks for calling. Well, click. And Link looks like he's a little kid there or trying to push up on a table. What in the heck is Link doing when he does that? <sighs> Come on, it's not a whirlpool, dude. But anyways. Tackle chicken! Tackle chicken! Tackle the cuckoo! That is a fox. There's a, uh, there's a, uh, there's a, uh, brain fart. There's this, uh, Twitter account called Can You Pet the Dog? And, uh, it says, no, you cannot pet the dog. But, uh, you need to tell that, uh, Twitter account that that is not a dog, that is a fox. Awfully big ears, too, so similar to, like, a fennec fox. Which is the supposed fox that which Tails is based off of. I don't know how this guy gets any business since when you can't and get through the foliage around him. It's nice you can actually see into the next area. There's a, quite a bit of changes uh, simply just due to the fact that the angle of the camera expands over. Stop into the store. See how you steal stuff in here? Which is something I never did, is you walk around behind the guy and you walk out the door. <clears throat> but I was never the kind of person who would do that. Seriously, I, I don't like stealing stuff. Pl back when playing, uh, say, oh, uh, Elder Scrolls V, uh, Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim, uh, I never really got into the Thieves Guild because it always bothers me to steal things. What is this one? This is a stand for something that says Shy Guy. This is a stand for something that says Spiny. Boo. Yep, those are my boys. I'm Pephel. Pephel, pleased to meet ya. Oh, she wants a Yoshi doll. Oh, yeah, I remember that. That little trade sequence. Pokey. Back out I go. Now, there's one kid. Well, it seems that after you save, you will start at this last place you saved. Unless it's a dungeon where you start at the entrance. It's not really sure 
why that is cause I'm just a kid. Link kind of has that like tank and tread step. One of the most important mini games ever for a, for an, any Zelda game. How does he do anything with that house? You can't. Even, you don't even see a door on it. My Bow Wow is so proud of his fine fur coat. Yip, yip, yip. To stand for something is Kale Kale? Bow Wow? Oh, Kale Kale. Wants a ribbon. Now that's good advice, they're not friendly. I'm just stopping in every house because I, you know, I'm that kind of person. Ah, yes. I had to tackle that book. That's a replication of a puzzle back in the... Old replication of a puzzle you had to perform back in the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. I'm not going to need that. <laughs> ah, fall down the hole, see what happens. Don't bounce off, you always have to test for that. Usually they just bounce off of uh, wood shields, but not uh, to, uh, this is Tails Cave, the first dungeon you go to. It's a bit of a tale to tell there. And just walking all over the place, being a weirdo. Nice little touch, him turning red. Practically down to the beach. Make sure to dig egg at the end of that for a shell. Wherever you find an odd corner or a dead end in, in the game, you dig with a shovel. Push the Gordos out of the way. I would think the Gordos would harm them. Ah, my sword! And the owl. The evil owl! 
By the way, this is the first game in which the owl has appeared in. The original Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. You can thank Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening King for establishing an owl as uh, your uh, helpful guide to remind you the same facts dozens of times. Mostly just because you forget to push the other button. Interestingly enough, he was not quite that bad in this game in the in Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. <clears throat> he mostly just shows up, tells you a, tells you a, a important bit of the game, game world, and boom. It's nice to do that. Obviously a wall you had to bomb. Gotta tackle that. Oh boy, a crocodile! I wonder if KK, King K. Rool knows you're here. Welcome to Sal's House of Bananas. I'm Sal, Sale, and uh, obviously it's Sal, but it's Sale, uh, and this is my house. Actually, uh, my hobby is collecting rare and unusual canned food. My brother is an artist, so I guess this strange hobby is running the family. Be taking hits. You get that combination, that's the ultimate. How dare you try to walk around me? We're gonna walk over the top of those. Very important spot at, uh, you forget exactly the point in the game in which you need to come over here and sit, over, sit on that. Ah, Guardian Acorn. It will reduce the damage you take by half. Not exactly something you really need in this early point of the game, but okay. It doesn't last long. Hell, for the most part, I don't even need it because the shield.
In the essential she'll grab with the sword. Swords count as hands, you know. Just very friendly. One of the spots that spawns uh, hearts all the time. <clears throat> ah, heart piece. It's funny how you just magically just jump right out of it. Oh yeah, this is the house I, this is the building I did not go into. You basically end up using this place to call around. Bring, 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 hello, it's me, Aura. Ask me anything about the island, and if you get lost, call me, give me a call. You know, there's a library in the village that might help have some good information for you. Talk to the, talk to you later, click. Old Man Aura is a chatterbox. Box that gives you he functions kind of like uh, the fortune tellers there's in many Legend of Zelda games whenever you get lost you have no clue where you want to go you just go to to the phone and ask old man Aura although I do not need eat his advice as I know pretty much everything except for the new stuff uh, they added to this game Oh yeah, it's back to that again. You only get a few feet away and it all regenerates. And my first shell! There was 26 in the original game. I had all of them. I had everything in the old game, original game. Uh, whenever you see her, go say hi. She moves around a little bit. That comes back to be very use important in the end. Oh, by the way, fun fact. It is possible to kill cuckoos in this game. You use the magic powder and the magic wand. Oh, yeah, as I said before, the ki everyone moves around. Every time you... Yeah. Every time you move through the game... You beat a dungeon, or you collect a new major item, or discover a major important revelation. Uh, a bunch of the characters in the town move around, and then you can ask them for new information. Yeah. Yes, I will play! The buttons move the crane. The rest is just timing. Go over to the buttons and play. Good luck. X move forward, A move right. Okay, that's a little awkward. And the moment you... Yeah. It's a little awkward. That's good to remember. It is awkward. The moment you let go, it gives up. First fail, good lesson. A little far. That's a little fast and snappy. Keep that in mind. And that was terrible. 
That was terrible. I knocked I knocked the Yoshi doll forward, and now That's pretty close. It's not unusual for her stuff to fall off that. Yeah. And I got the Yoshi doll. And I want the heart piece now. And once you get the rhythm of it, it's good. Couldn't have done better. <laughs> oh my! Yeah, that's that's fun. Yeah, uh, I'm out of money. At least I got the Yoshi doll. Well, I need more money. Yeah, I'm going to go give it to your mom. Okay, people, don't think dirty, okay, when I said give it to your mom. You see little odd corners like that dig around. And I got a bow! And I know literally where to go with that. I'm gonna jump off a ledge. And now I got dog food. I know where to go with this. Peace of power, you feel energy flow through you. Yeah, it's not like I need it as I automatically knock out everything you know, I walk near. Yeah, I went down the wrong side. Notice that Link moves a little bit faster now. I know I just walked the longest way around that. I'm going to get some bananas. And he ate the whole thing without taking the can, taking it out of the can. 
Munch, munch, munch. And there's some bananas. Got some bananas. Bananas, bananas. Now saving. Obviously, part of me says. Naturally, you want to go and say hi to the monkey. But the monkey's not the answer. Remember, check back here. I'm not exactly certain to how many uh, not exactly certain of uh, hear the tone difference. I know I I uh I heal and I take a hit. I heal and I take a hit. I heal and I take a hit. That's just because I'm so aggressive. I'm just really aggressive. See, I don't have a key for Tails Cave. So, brain fart, brain fart, brain fart, where's the key for Tails Cave? Tail Keyhole. So, where do we go and find this Tail Keyhole? Uh, key for the Tail Keyhole. Tail Key for the Tail Keyhole. That's my progress. Don't laugh. Almost got that cuckoo there. A lot of time you spend in this game is just trimming grass, just getting some rupees. And then you go to the store, and then you go to other places. I have to remind myself what's all here. 200, 200 rupees for a deluxe shovel. Two hundred rupees. I guess the next target I'm going for is this mysterious forest. You know? Mysterious forest. And the owl says, Woo! Woo! And then flies down and takes off your face and eats it. Wait, hoot ho! Brave lad! On your quest to wake the dreamer, welcome to the mysterious forest. Much of the mystery you will find on this uncharted Colette Island. I'm afraid you may find it a trifle difficult to leave the island while the windfish naps. <clears throat> by the by, have you ever visited the tail cave which is south of the village? Go there with the key you find in this forest. The windfish is watching. Hoot! Hoot! And then he flew down and ate Link's face.
Don't mind me, I'm just German. That just sounds like the natural ending to that exchange. This goofball wants to get around me. Come on, I want you! I want you! Oh boy! It's a tonuki! A raccoon. As you, as a raccoon, my nose is very sensitive to the stuff like dust and powder. Yes, Mr. Raccoon. You say I'll be the fairy, uh Yes, I got pep, as they say. It's not like I, you know, did other things, you know. Oink oink. That goofy, goofy raccoon goofing around. What the hedge? Aha! I'm in God mode! Oh. Be careful, you gotta get that timing. Yeah, I just, I'm gonna go back in the forest. Because that's where I need to be. See, there's the gap. There's some rocks. And there's a pig. Don't mind the pig people. There's the fairy again. A part of me says one of these holes, well, uh, there's a hole that leads literally right to an area. You're the fours. Go into the hole, I go, yo. Oh no, there's bats! And in the hole you go. See, obviously you go down with that. Go up. And when you can pick this stuff up, you can get get to that.
I don't have any other weapons than to fight these guys. No, there's the obvious solution. You use your shield uh, to destabilize their stance, and, and then they uh, then you take them out. Well, I we looks like we hit the forty uh, that wonderful, wonderful, wonderful forty minute hit mark. Oh no! Look what I did. I somehow found my way through. Well, <clears throat> continue this fun in, in time here. We're going to have to continue this, this uh, little fun uh, adventure at another moment. Uh, see you next time on my channel uh, for the chapter two of this. So long and thank you for watching.